Hello and welcome to the second video in this series uh, in Vue.js. So last video then we had this uh, little web app here which doesn't do very much, we just reflect the text that we're typing. Uh, I've got the development console open or the developer tools open and with the console open at the moment as well, we'll be needing this in this video. In this video I'd like to expand a little bit on what we've done. Uh, you'll see in the HTML I've made one tiny change, I've got a div now wrapping this is because we'll be putting another div down in a minute and I'd like to do something called uh, computed properties in this video. So here we've got our view app, our element we're attached to, uh, the data part of our view app and here I want to add something new called computed. And what computed is, is computed properties. So a property is something just like some text, so something which can hold some information and we can also change. What we want to do instead of actually declaring it and setting it using vmodel in this way, we're actually going to compute it, so calculate it from some other values. And the syntax to do this is the same as when we declare a property like uh, some text or something. So I'm going to make a new one called put hello. And what I need to do is declare an anonymous function. And this anonymous function will be executed uh, every time I ask for put hello. And whatever is returned by this function will be are represented by put hello inside the HTML. So for example, if I just return here um, from put hello, let's say, I mean, it's a very, very stupid example, let's just do that. Then whenever I ask in the front end, in the web page for the property put hello, this is what I'll get. So if I just take uh, this div then inside the index.html and then take put hello and drop that here, in the actual web page on the front end then, just do a quick uh, refresh and clear the cache, you can see that I get from put hello here. It's behaving exactly as a normal property as I did with some text, except, except this time it's pre-calculated. But this isn't really doing anything, so we could make this an expression. So let's say I want this to be true if some text is hello, otherwise false. So I can say return and then say some text is equal to Hello. That'll evaluate unless it's hello with a capital H. That'll evaluate to false. Otherwise, it'll evaluate to true. Now, when I go back to my uh, site here, I'll actually get an error. A load of red text. It's telling me that some text is not defined. And why is it telling me that some text is not defined? Well, it's because here I'm saying the global variable some text. I'm trying to reference here. But it's not. Some text is actually a property of my view application. So therefore, I actually inside the computed section here need to use the keyword this to say I'm actually representing this object, this view application, and I want some text from the view application in my comparison here, not just a general variable defined as some text. That's a common mistake that uh, causes some um, frustration when you first start uh, using view. You'll need the this dot keyword here. Now, if I reload the application, I won't have the error anymore and we can see it's now evaluating to false. If I now change this and evaluate, it evaluates to true when I put hello in with a capital H. If I put it with the lower H, it still evaluates to false. And that's how computed properties are used. We can extend this slightly and we can use, show you something else very quickly that we'll be using inside our application. And that is, I don't want to see the result of put hello. I don't want to see this div unless hello is true. So what I can do here, I've actually got two options I can use, but they're subtly different. I can use v if and say that only show if put hello is true. So v f and put hello like so. And now we'll only see this div if put hello is evaluated to true. So if I refresh this, now I don't see anything. And when this is changed to hello, now I see true. Very good. There's one interesting thing I want to show you preparing the next option about this. If I go into the elements and look what's been pre-rendered or is already inside the DOM, we'll see that I have, I've got the I need a beer here and the input, and then I've not got anything else, which is correct, you might say. And then if I change this to hello, then we get our new div with the true rendered inside, which you can see in the elements here, just as expected. And then if I remove the O, then that disappears. There's another way of doing these things in Vue, and that's instead of using V if, you can use V show. And now if I save that and go back and reload the application, I get exactly the same result. I put hello and I get a true. Otherwise, I get nothing there at all. 
But the result isn't actually exactly the same. There's a subtle difference. If I look at the app now where it's full so it's not showing and actually look at what's been uh, generated in the DOM, we can see that we've already got the div with false. It's just that the display has been set to none. And if I go to put the hello in there and with a capital H as well, you can see that now uh, the display none has been removed from the div and we've got the true. So the difference is, is when you use vshow, whatever you put vshow inside will be pre uh, onto in terms of an element will be pre-rendered in the DOM. And again, depending on how you want your application to work, it might be better performance to pre-render or it might be better not to pre-render depending on what you're showing or hiding. Often you use uh, vshow when you've got something that you're very often going to be showing and hiding and when it's not so often you might use v if. So there's a subtle difference between the two of those. And just before I go, I want to go back to the computed. Uh, one thing if you're familiar with programming in general or JavaScript or something you might be saying is, okay we've got a computed property here but later on we'll be responding to functions when we click buttons and things like that so why would we use a computed property in this way? Why wouldn't we just have a method as part of this object or a function that we call? And there's another subtle reason here that's to do with performance. If you really want to go into the detail on Vue.js.org, I'm on the guide here, uh, forward slash computed.html. You can find the guides down the left hand side. And just down the page here, there's the explanation of this, which is here, is that computed properties are cached and then they only change or relaunch the code when one of the dependencies inside that code changes. Otherwise, it doesn't re-execute uh, the code inside the uh, function block. A method will always be re-executed, irrespective of whether the things it depends on have changed or not. So it's a slight uh, performance different, and computed properties are also not as flexible as methods, um, taking arguments and things like that. But the basic difference is they're pre-cached, or they're cached, and then only change uh, when their dependencies change. But you can read all about that inside Vue.js. But for now, it's just simple enough to know that we execute anonymous function, and what we've actually got is a value that we use as a property inside the data, but we actually just compute that from some other values. So I hope that's made some sense. In the next video, we'll take a quick look at methods, and then we're going to get on in the one after that into actually sticking some buttons and things on the screen, on the screen with Vuetify and starting to build the actual application. So thanks very much for watching. Questions, comments, as always, uh, underneath the video.